Hi, I'm Anne Marie Williams and I'm here to show you some tips on painting. In the first two segments I put in the sky and some nice trees in the background. Now I want to put in a little bit of a stream coming down and then we'll do some grass and some rocks and finish the picture. Fill it in nice. As it comes closer, it's going to get a little wider. I like to use my fan brush and go back and forth, and that way it gives the movement in the water as it's coming down. The ripples are causing a form in here. Okay. Before I finish the water, I want to put in all the grass coming down toward the water because it's uh, the angle is is so important when you're putting in something like this you want to remember always bring everything toward the center of the picture and when I want to do grass what I do is I hold the brush kind of flat like this and I can get a nice grassy look to it As we get close to the water, there's going to be a couple of rocks in there. All kinds of good things are going to go on. All right. I think we'll stick some bushes up in the front here. Make them a little darker, and then when we highlight them with the lighter colors, that's when they'll come together and look really pretty. And some rocks. Over here I want to do a little bit of a cliff. To do a cliff I want to make some black, a little bit of brown, just so we have different colors, just something dark. Then I push, I have my knife and I just push into it so I have that thin even roll right along the edge. Coming down. We'll stick some more bushes in, up along the top. Nice level area here. Whenever I paint, I try and bring everything toward the center of the picture because it makes people's eyes come toward the center and that's what you want is people looking at the beautiful little waterfall and stream that's coming down here. We don't want them drifting off to the outside and not seeing what's coming on. All right, now let me see. We'll stick a little grass along the edge here. Got a nice little cliff going on. Get my one inch brush, some more green, and put some grass in along the edge here. Up along the top, there's some grass right on the top of the rocks here. We'll stick some flowers in, and lots of pretty things going on. To do the waterfall, what I'd like to do is just have the water in nice and dark, and then I'm going to go into some liquid white. It's very soft white. Waterfall's coming in, and it's just dropping down right here. And then there's some foam along the bottom. We'll stick some rocks in along the outside edge, too. And over here, there's another little waterfall, little fall. Couple little bits of foam here. And then down toward the bottom, we get a couple of little ripples coming through. Keep 
that white going in there. Just even this fall up a little bit. It was a little crooked. The nice thing about this is you can get back in there and even things up really nice. Up along the top of the falls, I'll just stick some bushes in here because you can't see where the top of the river is coming from. A little more bush down along here, and then we'll add some nice pretty rocks. I want to brighten up that one falls right in here. The water's coming in and it hit here. A little bit more white. That's better. I want it to really stand out. And then when it falls down here, it hits the foam. And take my knife, dip into that liquid white, and just give it some nice rapids coming down. So pretty to paint. This is a nice woodsy scene to put some nice rocks in. I'm going to take my, okay, I'll hurry up. Time's up. Put a couple of rocks in right along the edge of the water here. And that'll be it for today. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed these tips on painting. It's so easy to do a little waterfall, some rocks in the side along the edge of the falls and uh, some grass and trees. Have a great day.